In this video, we're gonna be subtracting fractions with the same denominators using an equation only. So far, we've subtracted fractions by using math manipulatives, fraction bars, and by drawing picture models. And now, we're going to move into the abstract approach by using the given equation or expression only. Let's take a look. So we have 8 tenths here, and we're gonna subtract 5 tenths from the 8 tenths. When you're adding or subtracting fractions, your denominators have to be the same in order to subtract, and we are not going to change our denominators. So if we look at these two fractions, we're subtracting the 8 tenths minus the 5 tenths. Both of their denominators are 10, so that will stay the same. 8 tenths minus 5 tenths are going to be left with 3 tenths. Again, the denominator does not change because it tells us the type or size of the pieces that we have. So we have eight tenth sized pieces and five tenth sized pieces. Eight of those tenth sized pieces minus five of those tenth sized pieces gives us three tenth sized pieces. Does that make sense? Type, yes, it makes sense in the comments below and give this video a thumbs up if it does. For this next example, I want you to try solving it first. So once you look at the problem, pause the video, solve it, and then continue watching the video to see how it's explained. We have 11 twelfths, and from the 11 twelfths, we want to subtract 6 twelfths. So I have 11 twelfths size pieces. I'm going to subtract 6 of those 12 size pieces. So let's look at it this way. Again, whatever we do, whatever difference we get, we know our size pieces, the size of our pieces will remain the same. It will be 12. So 11 subtract 6 is 5. So we're left with 5 12. 11 12 minus 6 12 equals 5 12. The 12 did not change. The denominator did not change. The numerator is what changed. Remember, this is just one way to solve this problem. So how did you do? How do you feel? Comment below and subscribe to my channel. Now, you're ready to add or subtract fractions with different denominators. In addition to that, continue strengthening your understanding of fractions in order to teach them or to solve the problems yourself by watching these videos or this playlist. 